Hello, my name is Zach Cagle. I'm the marketing product specialist for mid-range and high horsepower Massey Ferguson tractors. This is the 5700 Dyna 4 Global Series. I want to show you around it today. This tractor is made in Beauvais, France. It's equipped with a 4.4 liter Agco power engine and also the Dyna 4 version comes with a 16 speed power shift transmission. Four ranges and four power shift gears within each range. What that means for you as an operator is when you need to find the right speed in the field, all you have to do is push forward on the T-lever or pull back on the T-lever, and we'll look at that later on in the cab. This tractor comes in two models, the 5710 with 100 engine horsepower and the 5711 with 110 engine horsepower. On the 4.4 liter Global Series engine, we have an easy clean out screen here. So anytime we're in the field and there's, there's a lot of debris, this will, this will act as our pre-filter, catch all of that debris, and we can pull it out and easily service our radiator. Also easily serviceable on the front of the engine is our air filter. All we have to do is pop these off, pull out, and now we have easy access to our air filter to blow all the dust out. When you're doing your daily service or engine check, it's easy to check the oil right here. Easy access dipstick, easy to put back in, and you're ready to go. On the 5700 Global Series, you'll see a very heavy duty front axle. This makes loader work with big heavy jobs no problem at all. Next I'll talk a little bit about the loader. So on the 5700 Dyna 4, you can have it with or without a loader. We offer a non-self-leveling loader, which you see here, and we also offer a self-leveling loader, your choice. Also standard on the Global Series tractors is our radial Trelleborg tires, a very nice tire which offers a very good ride uh, out in rough terrain. Optional equipment on the Global Series also is rear wheel weights. If you're doing a lot of loader work or heavy draft work, we highly recommend the rear wheel weights. So now that we're in the cab of the Global Series, you'll notice big spacious cab, best in class cab when, when it comes to volume. You'll also notice we have tilt and telescoping steering. On the left hand side here, we have our left hand power control lever. This controls our direction and it also allows us the ability to shift up or shift down gears. This is a nice feature because when we're operating our loader, we can shift up and down over here as well as change directions with our left hand and operate our loader with our right. This is our T-lever to control our Dyna 4 transmission. To shift up gears, we just push forward. To shift down, we pull backwards. If we want to change ranges, we simply push the side button, push forward, or pull backwards to shift up or down within a range. This is the throttle. We can change our uh, engine RPMs here, and we're also able to set a preset speed. So let's say we want to run at 1800 RPMs. We would set our RPMs there, hold this button down for three seconds, let off. Now we could drop our RPMs, go back, and the tractor would go to 1800 RPMs automatically. These are our three remotes, which come standard with the Dyna 4 Global Series. Each one of these can be placed in float, however you want to use those three remotes. Also standard on the Global Series, the 5700 is 26 gallons per minute of flow. We achieve this with two high pressure pumps, one being 11 gallons per minute and one being 15 gallons per minute. To couple those two pumps, we just combine this valve and now we have 26 gallons per minute. This is a nice feature when we're using our loader. Uh, it makes loader work much faster because we have plenty of flow going to our loader. Or if we're operating a baler, say for example, when we combine this to 26 gallons per minute, the tailgate on our round baler will cycle much quicker. This is our brake to neutral switch. This comes standard with the Dyna 4 5700 Global Series. To engage it, we simply press the button. Now we're ready to use our brake to neutral. So let's say you're pulling a round baler. The monitor beeps at you and tells you it's time to tie. You simply reach down, hit the brake, tractor stops. You let the baler do its thing. We dump our round bale, close the gate back, let off the brakes, and the tractor will begin going again. This three-way rocker switch controls our auto drive, which comes on our Dyna 4 transmission. 
Currently it's in the off position and we could control the transmission with our T-lever. If we shift to the middle position, this is auto power, meaning that when we raise our RPMs above 2100 RPMs, the tractor will automatically shift up in gears or shift down depending on our RPMs. This is our auto eco. Same function, but the tractor will now shift at 1650 RPMs. This is a nice feature when we're going down the road or we're running around in the field doing loader work. So at the rear of the tractor, you'll find a very heavy duty rear three point lift system. You'll find standard on both sides, big heavy duty external lift cylinders is also a very heavy duty draw bar system. Also with the Dyna 4 standard comes three rear remotes. The third valve, you can adjust your flow on it as well. Also, for a very, very nice ride, standard with the Dyna 4 transmission, you get your cab suspension. And you can see the cab move up and down, makes for a very nice ride when you're out in the field baling hay or doing whatever. The last thing I'll mention back here is we have up and down buttons to raise our three-point lift system up and down to make hooking and unhooking very easy. These come standard on the Dyna 4 Global Series. For more information on the Massey Ferguson Global Series and the new Dyna 4 transmission, visit MasseyFerguson.us or your closest dealer.